Hi everybody, I'm here with my daily video and today I thought I would share with you another way that you can do planning in a DIY sort of way, specifically in a half letter size notebook. In my last daily video I showed you some ideas and some kind of tips and tricks of doing planning in a traveler's notebook style kind of a planner setup where I showed you a lot of different page layouts and ways to use planner stickers and things. Today I thought that I would share with you how you can set up just a plain old notebook page in a half letter size notebook, but this would work in a letter size notebook using planner stickers and pen and just to show you another way that you can do planning. What I'm gonna show you specifically in this video is going to look at using a daily planner insert. I'm just using notebook paper, but this might give you a little bit of some ideas of ways that maybe you can set up your planner or even if you haven't considered using a daily planning page, this might give you some ideas about how you can go about using one if you're considering it. If you're interested in seeing what a sort of a DIY kind of a daily planning insert looks like and using planner stickers, then I invite you to stick around for the video. And I hope that what I have to share with you is something that's helpful and helps you to find your planner piece in your own planner. So let's go ahead and watch the video. So what I have here is I have a half letter size arc bound notebook that is from Staples by Martha Stewart. Martha Stewart has a really awesome stationery and just kind of office supply line. It's sold exclusively at Staples. This is an arc bound sort of a notebook and that basically means it has these discs, these, uh, well they kind of look like, it kind of looks like a spiral notebook when you have it like this, but the difference is the the discs they're a little bit wider apart and you can like you know put your hand there so then you can kind of hold it. The great thing about a notebook like this is that it's reusable. This is not very different from the happy planner kind of setup but I actually really like these kinds of discs especially from the Martha Stewart arc kind of system. These are my very favorite discs. This can flip open and onto itself like this, so it like flips back like this. And the paper that comes in this is just really, really good quality. Not very um, much of an issue that I've ever had with shadowing. These are just some very thin sort of flexible plastic sort of dividers. And this is one of my very favorite pens from a company called U Brands. It's just a ballpoint pen and this is just one of my favorite pens that I like to. You can buy all kinds of accessories and things to go with this pockets that snap in here, but this one has like a nice little pocket where I just have tucked some stickers that I've made for my Etsy shop and everything. So that's like one really, really nice feature of at least this style or this type of arc disc kind of notebook. What I'm showing you here is this is simply paper that came in this sort of a setup. So what I'm showing you here is I'm showing you what would otherwise just be a blank piece of paper, but what I've done is I have just broken up the space using planner stickers and then just writing in some of the different elements with pen, different colors of ink, and this is just a daily sort of a layout. I have divided up this page into two different columns, and then in this column here, I have this uppermost section here, and I called it a little bit of like the reminder section. And then this is a planner sticker that says one, two, three. And that's a little bit of like, maybe like a top three or just like priorities to remember just for the day, for the daily. Then I have my to-do list. I put two circular sorts of stickers here to fill in what will happen for snack in the AM and then snack in the PM. And then I have my to-do list here where I just drew boxes. I put my list of tasks here, and I put the items here after the checkbox, and then I put action words above the checkbox, so then I don't have too much writing in this section over here. I can see at a glance, not even by looking at that, I can see at a glance, this is print, print, prep, prep, film, so then I don't have to read kind of all that extra stuff. It's been helpful to me to lay out a to-do list kind of like this, putting action words above the different 
boxes that I otherwise would check. And like in this case here where there are two things that I need to do associated with this sort of task, I have simply put a strike through that box so then I can check both sides. That's one technique that I found that's really helped me to have a to-do list that's just a little bit easier to manage because it's not nearly as much writing. It's like very concise and very efficient. So up here is just like a notebook kind of sticker that I numbered. I could have just written number one, number two, number three, but it does help me to use planner stickers just because they say a picture is worth a thousand words. And the human brain actually reads and processes pictures three to five times faster than words. So it can be very, very helpful to use planner stickers or just colors to color code things as a way to help you get a faster visual read on any given page. So this is the right hand column. The left hand column here, I just put to do today up here. And this is just an hourly breakdown that would otherwise be just a daily sort of a layout. I usually wake up before 5 a.m., but I try to start my day with just some quiet time, you know, doing reading or doing journaling, having coffee. Then this is just a, a header label that was blank and I just wrote on top of it. You could do this with washi tape. Even though I have breakfast, lunch, and dinner blocked off at certain points, like breaking points of the day, this is a general estimate of when I kind of think this is going to fit into the schedule best. Even though I have a very structured sort of a layout here of what my time breakdown will be throughout the day, I don't always stick to it. But what helps me is having this written down, it just helps me as I get through the day to have an estimate of what I wanted to happen in that sort of window and space of time. I have just a blank header label, or like I said, that could have been like washi tape. 8 a.m., I want to try and do laundry, linens, and some clothing that we're gonna be giving away. I have a small pencil here that says plan it, so to me, bullet journaling is different than doing planning. To me, is something that I wanna do more in my leisure time and have it be less structured than doing like the logistics and the planning that I usually always do in any given day. This block of time right here kind of 9.30 ish to about 11 a.m. That's time I have blocked off to do homeschooling with my daughter. And included with that is just some 15 minute pickup time for us to be able to not let, let things pile up and just be in a good sort of a routine to after we do the things that we need to do for homeschooling because sometimes we can make a mess just to kind of pick up. And so I put that kind of in there, sort of section of tasks that we're doing. And I have lunch there. After lunch, we're going to try and work on a little bit of a book report. So I layered some stickers there. I have music appreciation on here. And it has like little music notes and things overlaid with like a globe shaped like a heart because we're studying world music for homeschooling. And then I, um, I couldn't actually find any road stickers that were really tiny, so I designed some myself. Here is the dinner sort of a block, and that could happen anywhere from like 4.30 to like 6 p.m. After dinner, we have some quiet time, so I turned a page flag, kind of rotated it so that the triangular shape kind of directs the eye this way to the writing, and then I layered some stickers over top of that. This one you see, it's kind of like the way that I start the day. They end it in the same sort of way, and then clean up time, because Seemingly, you know, when we're having quiet time, my daughter likes to uh, get all the toys out and um, really kind of have a good time with some independent play. Now this would be like a typical day to me, and the thing that's really great about this is that my daughter can just as well look at this, and she can read this, and she can know what the expectations are, or just like the general ideas. Still learning how to tell time, so it helps her to see blocks of time with the specific time points as a way to have a reference point as she's going through and learning to tell time and then learning how to manage her time logistically that is overlap with my time as a work from home mom. Any number of these things might be independent sorts of tasks that she might do or they might be things that we work side by side. But what I essentially have here on this daily planning page is I have um, accounted for time for both 
my daughter and trying to do homeschooling and then like my own work at home mom sort of life. So these things are supposed to work a little bit in tandem because I might get her started on certain things for homeschooling and then once I get her started and she can kind of work at her own pace a little bit, I'll check in on her while I'm doing any number of these other things. So it's multitasking, basically. In any case, this is a little bit of what a daily planning page or insert could look like. And all it is really is just a notebook page. I do have planner stickers on here, but I don't necessarily have to have planner stickers on here. If I didn't have them, I could draw in little books or just little representations of books, or I could just use decorative sort of lettering and things as a way just to visually kind of emphasize any sort of specific task or allotment of time. Something else, these headers here are in script, sort of a font. Something that I have found to be very, very helpful is to mix script with print. When I want something to be a little bit of a heading, then what I will do is I will deliberately use script or cursive. And when I want something to be a little more of a list, I will deliberately try and use printed sort of handwriting. I don't necessarily think that my handwriting is all that neat, but I found it very, very helpful to differentiate between headings and then like body text by using just two different types of handwriting, script up here and then printing down there. So that's something else that's helped me a lot in doing DIY planning. So I hope that this was helpful to you in seeing that you can just take a regular notebook and turn it into a planner page, still use planner stickers and use your favorite pens and things. This is obviously very well loved and I hope that this was helpful for you. One of my very, very favorite ways to do planning is, is honestly just in a standard notebook. There's something to me that is very refreshing and even reassuring doing things on just like a plain old notebook page. I feel like for as much as I love my planner setup that I use on the daily, my Filofax Personal Compact, that's the Austerly, the one that I always usually share on this channel. There's something that is very refreshing to me sometimes, just having a fresh sheet of paper, you kind of adjusted and sectioned off and compartmentalized in ways that I might need in a more immediate sort of a way. Now what I showed you in this daily video was using a daily planning page, but sometimes I actually will use just a regular old notebook as a way to do project planning. And I will even divide up the page, much like what I showed you today in like the daily planning sort of a setup that um, I drew up with pen and then just use planner stickers as a way to visually cue myself to know what, what moments of time were spoken for specifically. Planner stickers and just different colored pens and things are really, really great ways for you to break up the space visually. You also don't necessarily need to buy planner stickers. Planner stickers, they can get pricey. I know that for a fact. But the thing is, is you can make your own planner stickers, and I actually have done a video about that, and I will link that in the description of this one. And even if you don't do it that way, you can do it other ways. You can just buy full sheet label paper, and you can draw your own stickers, and then just cut them out with scissors. Easy peasy. I hope that today's video was helpful for you. I hope that you maybe are discovering some different ways to do planning. And maybe even you're discovering that DIY planning is kind of cool and it's kind of fun. It's great for saving you money and sometimes it's great for saving you time just because you're not spending all the time in the world going out and trying to find kind of like the ever elusive planning piece or planner piece because you and whatever notebook that you have or whatever paper that you like to use you can use that to draft out, to design your own planner that maybe it didn't even exist until you decided to design it and create it yourself. That's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for spending so much of your time uh, with me today, and I look forward to seeing you in the next daily video. Bye.